So the Who often make these fantastic conceptual records. And this is, I guess, the final piece to the album, the concept album, Quadrophenia. So I, I am kind of jumping into the concept. This is the final piece of that story. So it might be a little bit janky to try and understand what is going on. Who knows? What I found often is that listening to a song out of the context and then eventually going around and hearing it within the album only enhances the experience. So I'm going to try and do my best to understand the story see what the themes of the track is and maybe make a guess at what the actual entire record is trying to say if i can at least and here we go let's try and find out what this song is about this is rain over me by the who interesting rain sounds immediately that's the title i guess I'm a sucker for a good key, uh, piano part. Setting the scene for sure. Only love can make it rain the way the beach is kissed by the sea. Mm. Only love can make it rain like the sweat of lovers laying in the field. I mean, just looking at the title of the track, I had an inkling that it'd be like this with a double sort of meaning, love rain over me. And it looks like it has sort of come true with the two versions of rain. So one version is obviously the sound effects in the background say it well enough. They've added the weather effects in there. But at the same time, the idea of like raining over someone is like taking over them or like commanding them, if you will. So it certainly sounds like a huge dramatic piece. You can already get that feeling with the pianos building up in the beginning with the sound effects of the rain. And then you have Daltrey's voice, man. He has a really, really emotive voice, man. He's passionate. His passion just kind of drives through. And the way he delivers these lines, man, it's really really cool inklings into the into the concept only love can bring the rain that makes you yearn to the sky only love can bring the rain that falls like tears is in the last track I heard of the Who's Who Are You where they kind of build upon a vibe for a very long time they can do it in a lot of songs in Bubba O'Reilly they did the same thing with that great intro with the synths so they're doing the same thing here right this feeling that's washing over him is shown really well through the music I wanted to highlight a couple of lines here I thought this was such a good line where he says only love can make it rain the way the beach is kissed by the sea wow really interesting way of phrasing that Dry and dusty road The nights we spent apart alone I need to get back home To cool, cool rain I can't sleep and I lay and I think The night is hot and black as ink Oh God, I need a drink Of cool, cool rain 
I guess that would be a shift in chords. I'm learning all of this from you guys where the tension is kind of released and it turned to something much more hopeful, a joyous. Maybe this feeling that he's talking about, God is actually responding now and this sensation of love is coming over him. And the same thing was reflected in the change of the sounds, right? The chords. I love that. I guess it'd be a keyboard part or a synth part in the background. It almost sounds like irish music if you guys know what i'm saying here like certain irish songs have this kind of twiddly uh really rhythmic um infectious part in a lot of the music i feel the same thing here with that with that part in the background <laughs> like possessed by a spirit. unbelievably cinematic and dramatic i guess realization you know like a pivotal sort of change in this story or this person's story where they decided that love is the answer or like maybe accepting or letting go to god and that feeling i guess is the theme of the song so it really is a finale piece i guess there's a big story behind this giant change that happens in this person i always think great outro songs make for great intro songs you know i think when an album does it really well the intro almost feeds into the beginning and i think the case can be made here i think this would be a great beginning to a uh, album as well if you think about it right although it works as a, as a climax or a resolution let's say not a climax really interesting song i think the the best thing about this song is definitely the vocals on this man Daltrey really letting go feeling like he was almost possessed by this feeling of love very interesting track again it's obviously made within the concept which is what this band does so well the singular pieces are so great like Bob O'Reilly but then you find out that they fit a bigger narrative and then that's what makes it more impressive almost like a pink floyd you could say with an album like the wall or even wish you were here um listen i always say i gotta check out albums the who is definitely on the list i will get to it eventually but it was an awesome track to check out definitely a thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> 